cool. No, not in the car. Or maybe in the car. I'm mean, yeah, a nice break. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn mouth! And it's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Ooh, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such a joke to you. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and... Play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you win. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A oh, is that redemption. what you're doing? Can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. There go more fucking wolves. <laughs> She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow, but so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Porter? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliché, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Oh, excuse me. Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Only because I have no choice. Fordham, okay, that's his name. Agent Fordham. Keep quiet. Stay close. Yes, Keep him quiet. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. You know, if you get shot and die, how, how will anyone else know it was me and not just one of the other guys? <laughs> you know, those renegades and reprobates you're talking about. I have a sneeze building. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lives. Well, don't jinx it, jackass. <laughs> Yeah, 
Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. This is where we rescue, uh, what's his name, Lestache, right? Ah! What the fuck, how do we get over there? there? Jackass, hang on. I'm waiting. I'm trying to figure out this. How do I navigate this? Never mind, I found it. Hang on, we just gotta go around. Gotta go higher? Hang on, how do I go higher? Her informant. Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. That's Dallas, that's his name, right? You'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Uh, well, how do I how do you want me to shoot? Devil! Come on, we need to get him to safety. I see him. Unbelievable. What the hell's happening Real here? Man. Is there one behind us? I won't get behind us. There's one of them. We just want a mandolin. Yeah, I sure tell him that. I'm sure it'll work out in your favor. This is your last chance to surrender. Follow me. A lot of them around here, dude. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone that doesn't mean anything, though. Yeah. Don't mean anything. Come on, poke your head back out. Dude, I'm coming up. You better move. He was a fighter. I'll give him that much. Here's hoping we don't run into more people. Where were they hiding? Where were they hiding where they didn't just attack us immediately? And they didn't go for Ross all the way up here. Is there more of them? I feel like there's more of them. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk, or social secretary, or some you such. Just shut your mouth! How'd Ross go from working for the Pinkertons to being a military, I mean, a government agent? How'd you get that promotion, dude? Come on, not 
now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Oh, now he's a man, huh? And not a savage? We'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. This way. I will do what I want to do. And I'm dead. There's so many of them. Working on it. You ain't nothing but a bunch of women. Ow, how'd you shoot me? Is he dead? He dead. Okay, cool. Is that how you fix it? You just turn the crank a few times? I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Got all those dead people. <laughs> Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. This is the future. God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, that'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Of course not, there John. You haven't found Dutch yet. I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. There's a bright side? The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. Sure. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. Think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Not an Indian, he's a Native American. Get it right. I'm not quite sure what his, his tribe is, Here so I can't are. identify that Thank part. God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDonald's. That's a kid? <laughs> like a grown-ass man. From this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good one.
watch your Careful there, friend. Ross, one day, I will kill you. It might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but one day, I will kill you. High stakes? Fuck yeah. Sure. I lied earlier. We're playing poker. Why are these cards sticky? I have a chance here at four. Set well. Yeah, four thousand. Four thousand dollars. No, four hundred. Not sorry. Nine seven diamonds. Fuck yeah. Interesting. I'm sorry, nine seven diamonds. <laughs> Need an eight. I need an eight, and then we have a straight. I think I'll check. Pair of nines. Oh, this will be an interesting one. I'm old enough to take a few risks. Better watch yourself, Marston. Fuck me. You can't win them all. Why, hello. No funny dealing now. He had a pair of kings too, didn't he? Shit. How you doing? I can get real lucky on this hand. Queen Ace. Let's see what we can get out of it. Ain't you aggressive, partner? You betcha. Someone's feeling the pressure. Howdy, Curious, we'll see how it goes. Don't forget about me. Never mind. Oh, oh yeah, come on. Yeah, I had nothing going there. I'm going all in. Ten eight, see the guy out yet? Ten eight, it's a pair, they can split. Oh no, he had high card. Oh fuck. Yeah, he looks mad. <laughs> I don't blame him either. I'll call that. Shoot. I'm out. I know your game. Fuck me. There's some bite in this old dog yet. Can we go for a high card, I guess? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? No, you can go away. You're joking. John Marston thinks he can come around here and raise hell. I'll be sure to tell him where he can go. Oh really? Oh, he's out. I'm watching you. I'm getting no luck here on these cards. Ace, Jack of Diamonds. Jesus, dude, calm down. There's a raise for me. This guy's bullying with all the chips. Those were the cards I was hoping for. Oh, do I have a pair of jacks? Hang on. Ace high, I have a pair of jacks, right? King high, I have a pair of jacks. Wait, what do I have? You want a good time? I have a pair of jacks. And just like that, I take the win. <laughs> Not the win, well, I took that win. I should have brought more money. Seven, eight, fuck yeah. We'll play that. You bored, chicken? Or you just lost your ball? Give me a nine. Give me a nine. A nine and a jack. Or a nine and a six. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we need we need one more. We need. I'm gonna check. 
I'm going to check out. Damn, I mean, Grant. Just Grant. Mayor, hold your fire. Fuck. I got nothing I'm voting. Better watch yourself, Parson. Yeah, he had a flush. Nine seven diamonds. We can try playing that. Need another diamond to get a flush. Give me one more diamond and give me a flush. Fuck. Check. Better watch yourself, Barston. He had high card. Ten six. Not a great hand, but we can try going with it. Give me an ace, give me an ace, or a nine. Give me an ace or a nine, we have a straight. Fuck. I'm out now, I don't care. Wow, these guys play for real. Queen four? Shit, hey, I'm we'll see what... Pair queens. I want to raise 40. Or bet 40. We'll bet 80. Oh, Jesus, dude. Pair of queens. Fuck. This will be an interesting one. Uh, no, nah, I'll take what I have. Enjoy your winnings there. I gotta go. That was fun. At least we came out on a positive. At least we came out positive instead of going negative. I should write my mama. She's the only woman I ever really trusted. What did he just say? The only woman he ever loved or trusted? Is that what he, I'm not sure what she said. No matter what he said, it was pretty sus. It is almost. Can't tell. Yeah, almost six, seven, eight, almost eight. If I'm reading that clock right, it's almost eight. And this thing came said to come back at at after seven. Yep. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not Fuck if I know. No. I was raised in an orphanage. 
My father was Scottish. Hmm. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, 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 trust me, sir. I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, uh, pure. Uh, uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Ah, uh, well, of course you don't. It's remarkable. You didn't even finish your thought. I don't even know what you're talking about. Of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age. And you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? No. I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. I want none of your coke. Oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? He speaks English, dickhead. I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochine. Let's go. Can we? We can leave the doctor behind, right? We don't need him. Uh, marvelous! <laughs> it's simply marvelous. We don't need to bring the professor. What's he gonna do for us? Hello. Sir. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Follow me. Why do we need Madougal? So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned... Hey, I got a niche. I'm a carbo. Ah, there we go. ...unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> well, anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Oh, what up? My fucking model's being weird again. Hang on. Oh. There we go. Should be looking straight now. Yeah. I can't tell. No, what the fuck is going on here? 